Hey friends! So for today's video, it's gonna be a little bit of not really necessarily like sh like showing you how I'm going about my days, but kind of. Today I wanted to talk about all the ways that I'm keeping busy right now as I'm quarantined. Yeah, I've created a list of things that um, not necessarily a to-do list, but a list of things that uh, I'm I'm at least thinking about and things that I'm doing during my day besides like working from home the little amount of time that I'm going to be working from home as well as uploading videos obviously um, but I, I figured I would talk about just some some things that I'm doing to pass the time and to de-stress because we're all stressed right now we know this everybody's anxious everybody's nervous everybody's stressed out and they're worried and I know this I will have some more videos next week that are gonna be nice and calming nice and chill I have another ASMR makeup video coming up soon so stay tuned for that maybe it's Saturday I'm not sure these are all the things that I'm gonna be doing to use up my days and make this this time of self-isolation go by a lot faster <laughs> these are in no particular order these are just things that I came up with cleaning my crystals I, I got a bowl of salt water the other day and I, I put them all in a bowl with some hot, warm salt water and let them like judge them around for a bit rinsed them off got a bowl with some with a little bit of rose essential oil and just kind of put them in there and there we go and now I got nice clean shiny rocks it doesn't really do anything other than just like get the dust all off of it and make it nice and clean <laughs> and like it doesn't really disinfect it it just makes them shiny and it gives you something to do and lay them all out I get like a towel and I put it on my floor in my bedroom and I put the bowl on the floor and I kind of just like zhuzh them around in the warm salt water and then lay them out on the towel and they're clean and good and wonderful because I have a hand I have a lot so <laughs> I'm just cleaning things which brings me to cleaning my computer not necessarily like wiping it off or scrubbing it but literally going through my files and organizing things deleting uh, redundant files just cleaning up things putting stuff on external hard drives to keep keep my actual computer nice and clean and organized. Cleaning out my downloads folder and getting rid of my like media cache files that always are made when I'm working in Premiere. Get just cleaning out my computer and organizing my computer. It's so therapeutic and wonderful. Just like deleting things that just like you can visually see the space coming back. Ooh. I love it. I haven't done that since I got my new computer, so I need to do that, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably a little messy right now. Really the only thing that I cleaned out was after Vlogmas I went through and I got rid of a bunch of things. So I need to do that again. <laughs> Organizing my files. It's such a spring cleaning, but cleaning my files. <laughs> Organizing my makeup. Uh, I recently did, I mean, I didn't really do like a declutter, but I kind of like, back in the fall, I did a video kind of like organizing my vanity and going through everything and decluttering stuff. And then I made a second video kind of showing how my vanity was organized in my storage and stuff. But right now, just kind of like going through, um, doing like not quite a declutter, but just like organizing and making sure everything's in the place they're supposed to be. Finding things in my drawer, in my desk and putting them back where they're supposed to be going through my my purses and finding stray lipsticks that are inevitably finding their way into my purse reorganizing my makeup um I don't really have any like other sorts of storage containers that I could put things into and like completely reorganize but still just going through and making sure everything is in the right place Again, very therapeutic. <laughs> Speaking of therapeutic, one thing I did the other day when I was driving home from work, the last day I went to work. So I've lived in Seattle for almost six years. It'll be six years in November. And so I've always lived in the city when there was like obscene traffic. And I've been driving to the city to go to shows for 10 years um, and all that time, there was just traffic all the time. So right now, obviously there's no traffic. <laughs> you can get anywhere very quickly. Nobody's going to work. Everybody's staying home. So I left work the other day and I drove like probably a full loop around town, like downtown on the highway out towards the other side of town and up and around. And it took me less than an hour. And normally that drive would have taken me at that time of day, like I left it like 525. That would have taken me at least two and a half hours to do at that time of day. That's unheard of. So what I actually really liked about that was literally just getting on the road and driving in a way that I've never been able to experience the city. Cause even like during the day, like during like when I used to 
work at Lush and I would work evenings and so I could drive through the city during the day. It was just not the same kind of experience because this is rush hour. This is rush hour when it's the prettiest outside. You just get to drive around and just see the town, see the city. If you're somebody that has a driver's license and can drive around, you're obviously not going anywhere. You're not leaving your car. You're not touching anything. You're not touching anybody. You're in your car. So it's kind of, you get to like sightsee your own town in a way that's like really abnormal to you. Like at least for me, it was very abnormal, very surreal kind of driving through town and seeing all the roads just empty because it really is different. It really is weird. If you're somebody who lives in Seattle or who lives around here, I know that you're probably experiencing the same thing. You're like, everything looks different. Everything feels different. So driving around, honestly, <laughs> just driving, just taking a drive, putting some music on, driving around. It was like an adventure, an adventure of calm. It was weird. <laughs> right now is the prime time to just go outside and be outside and just absorb some vitamin D and just just be in the sunlight because right now we're all gonna be a bit stir crazy. We're all gonna have a bit of cabin fever. We're all gonna be anxious and worrisome and just yeah, nervous. And so getting as much vitamin D as possible is probably pretty good because in general, it just like helps with things. Like it, it helps with your mood. Seasonal affective disorder begone, okay? Right now, I wanna go outside as much as possible. If you're staying at home, specifically staying at home, listening to music, like I have a record player, I'll listen to records. There really is just something different about listening to records than like putting on your Spotify on your computer and just playing a playlist. Obviously, if you don't have a record player, put on your music and make playlists and listen to it. But like curating playlists, making playlists, listening to music and just like really listening, just literally taking the time, not doing anything, just like sitting down and just listening to music. It's a simpler thing. Like it's, it, it harks back to simpler times, but it really is something that I love to do. That's what I was doing today for a little bit. I put on some music. I just sat on the couch and I listened and then I did some dishes. But yeah, specifically if you're doing like chores, like house cleaning, put on some music, you can dance around. Like literally what I'm looking at days right now when I'm not specifically gonna work, I'm gonna look at all of my days like Sundays. <laughs> days that I, I wanna get some cleaning done, I wanna get some chores done, but I'm ready to go to back to work at any moment. And that's what I'm looking at days like right now. Every weekday is gonna be a Sunday. It's a day that it's not gonna be frivolous, go out party fun time. It's a day to get stuff done, but it's also not a work work day. So yeah, listening to music, um, obviously cleaning. I did so many dishes today. Cleaning, like scrubbing your walls, honestly. Like I live in an apartment that's like probably a 50 year old building. So like it's, it gets moldy, it gets dusty. Like I need to just like scrub my walls one of these days and just like deep clean my fucking living room. Cause it gets dusty, like it does. So literally doing all the tedious dusting tasks makes your day go by so much faster. Dusting all the surfaces, your TV, your computer, um, in your kitchen, just dusting and cleaning and deep cleaning. Like when you're at home by yourself and you just clean and like it's super sunny out and you have your music playing or like a YouTube video in the background, cleaning while doing that, it just, it's very satisfying. It's very satisfying to say the least. I am cooking more. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna cook more things that maybe take a little bit more time. I know a lot of times when I'll come home from work and Libby's coming home from work, we just don't wanna cook. We'll like throw something in the oven. We have been getting a bit more creative too, but during the day, like I never would, would like make a big lunch for myself or make a lunch that's like fancy. Usually I'll wake up, eat something small for breakfast, have my coffee and then like have like, kind of a snack at lunch, but making lunch that's better for me and that takes a bit more creativity has been really nice. Obviously exercising as well. Besides taking a walk, um, I have an exercise ball that I've been actually sitting at at my desk. It's been really nice um, to kind of keep my posture up because um, I have to sit up like this rather than like hunched over in a chair. So exercising, doing crunches. <laughs> Again, another thing that can get your endorphins up and another thing that can keep your moods good and keep you up and cheery and stuff. Just doing some crunches, just doing a little bit of crunches just to get your heart rate up because that 
Also, I'm not a doctor, but I know getting your heart rate up at least a little bit at, at, in a day, it's just good for you. Like, it's just good for you. Exercising a little bit every day, going outside, drinking lots of water. It's basic things that can just be good for your health in general. As much as I want to sit around and watch Netflix all day and, and binge watch an entire season of The 100, um, I can't do that because Libby and I watch that show together. And also, that's not going to make me a happy person. Just like wasting an entire day just watching all of Netflix when I could be productive right now. That's what I want to do. I want to be productive because otherwise I just feel like I'm staying home and being useless, you know? Playing with makeup. Uh, I did like a fun look today. Like I wasn't going anywhere. And I know at least for some people, they don't always like getting dolled up or whatever. Honestly, for me, Putting on clothes that are not pajamas and putting makeup on makes me feel more productive in my day. It makes me feel like I need to do more with my day. If I'm just walking around in pajamas all day, I don't necessarily feel like I'm actually gonna do anything with my time that's worthwhile. So putting on clean clothes and washing your face and putting on makeup is actually really nice, at least for me. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> maybe not every day. Maybe don't put makeup on every single day. Give your skin a rest, but just like playing with it, having fun, like using your time to like, I don't know, perfect your winged eyeliner skills, playing with fun colors. If you're not going to work, you can wear the brightest eyeshadow you want. Like if, if you don't have anywhere to go, do that fucking huge blown out cut crease thing. Like do the fun makeup looks that maybe you never have the time to do in the morning to go to work. Or if they're not necessarily like, you know, do fun makeup looks. Cause it's fun. It's fun. And it, it gets your creative juices flowing. Otherwise your makeup is just sitting around, not doing anything. Sorting through my clothes to donate. Now I actually have like a little small pile already accumulated of, of clothing that I need to get rid of, but I need to go through my my entire closet and my my dresser and actually find things that I need to donate. Obviously, I'm not taking anything to um, uh, Buffalo Exchange right now, but um, that's in a different, I think that's in a bag in my car somewhere, just waiting for me to come take it to be donated. Clothes that you just aren't wearing anymore. Now is a good time to actually go, go through your closet and get rid of things that you're not wearing anymore um, because it's just taking up space. <laughs> it's just taking up space and more people might need it right now. Um, so if you don't want to go donate it to like a thrift store, you can donate your clothes to it. Like, like, a, a, like what I might end up doing, I have to see if I can find like a decent amount of things to take it to like Mary's place. So like a woman's shelter, shelters where people are going to need things right now, especially because people might be out of their homes depending on where you live. Um, I know Seattle has been, has put a moratorium on evictions right now. The mayor actually like wrote in a bill that said that people can't be evicted right now, um, which is really, really nice. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny Turkin. So going through clothes that you want to get rid of, honestly, it's so, again, cleaning out your closet is just satisfying. Just doing satisfying shit. Speaking of satisfying shit, sleeping more, getting like a good eight hours of sleep in, that's also a good thing to do right now. Don't stay up super, super late and wake up really early. If you stay up super, super late, sleep in. It's fine. Sleep more, get a good amount of sleep right now, and then also masturbating. <laughs> it's a great way to pass the time. Again, also gets your endorphins up, gets your blood pumping, gets your heart rate up. Yeah, stay home and jerk off. <laughs> Obviously don't go crazy. Drink a lot of water. Don't, don't do too, don't go, don't go ham on your meat. I did also see that Adam and Eve was like throwing in like free gifts right now. So not sponsored, but please sponsor me, Adam and Eve. <laughs> if anybody's watching, please sponsor me. I'm staying home, sleeping more, off. It's a great way to pass your day and just to feel better. Just admit it increases your mood. You know, you wake up, blah, blah, go to bed, blah, blah. there you go. The best part of waking up is not Folgers in your cup, but it's or yeah <laughs> yep that's what today's video devolved to also i don't have any pets but if you have pets play with your pets take them for walks oh my god play with your animals holy shit jenna marbles posted a video today as i'm recording this literally just a video of her pets enjoying warm blankets and other warm things i literally like cried like i watched the video and i just cried like that's have a good cry every once in a while. It's okay. It's okay to cry. Just like 
let it out. It is good to feel things right now and not like feel bad about crying because like the world is kind of crazy right now and everybody is freaked out and rightfully so. Well, everybody, there are some people who aren't and those people, oh, who knows? Um, today's song of the day. Oh, let's see. Who we got? Well adapted creature from Action S. Um, and I'll leave a link to their Bandcamp below. Right now, today, actually, Bandcamp is donating all of their, like, cut of music, because Bandcamp always takes, like, a cut because they're hosting the website um but they're donating all of their cut to the artists so if you want to buy music for Bandcamp, do it today because extra money is actually going to go to the artists so um the yeah, action s has their whole record the deep right below on Bandcamp. so if you want to check out a song play the whole thing whichever they also have cds so if you like buying physical music if not just give it a listen Check them out. They're buddies of mine. Um, they've missed out on some shows. They've probably not aren't going to be able to tour. So help them out. I like them a lot. They're really good friends of mine. So yeah. Um, let me know if you like this video. And uh, if it wasn't too weird for you. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And if you're new here and would like to see more of my videos during this time. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Because I upload maybe now four times a week. So <laughs> that's where we're at. Thanks so much to my patrons. As always, I appreciate you so very, 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 very much. So much. And have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, stay home, wash your hands, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.